Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh everyone. Alhamdulillah, I trust that you are well. I hope you missed me. I missed you guys. It's been so busy um, working and momming and self love and self care and wifing. Alhamdulillah, and being an Islamic student as well, it keeps me busy. Um, but Alhamdulillah, I'm happy to record this journey of us. Alhamdulillah, um, we are about to make our intention to put on our ikhdam and to go and perform the holy journey. And it's been such a mission and also a test to get to this point. Initially, I wanted to go like a few weeks ago and then all of a sudden it was menses and then the following week yeah, weekend when I wanted to go it was a workshop and my husband had a work commitment so alhamdulillah and I cried like I literally cried because I was sad I really wanted to go and I had to wait and be patient and alhamdulillah last night um Myself and Abby spoke and we have this weekend free and his work gave him off tomorrow and my weekend currently now is Friday and Saturday and Sunday I have to be back at work. So um, Alhamdulillah we are leaving home in 10 minutes and um, we'll catch our flight and then I will see you and inshallah I will speak to you if not I will be busy remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but I will try and record as much as I can of the journey um, inshallah and I will check in to let you know how I'm feeling and when I'm feeling a certain way I'm not sure if you can see or feel my feelings but right now um, it's like I feel sad, but happy and content. Um, I don't know, like Zain or Abedin also, like just not too long ago, he was crying and he was really testing me and he fell and hurt his back, but Alhamdulillah it was not a major issue it was something small and i told him he's strong and allah loves him and we're gonna go and visit allah's holy house and um, not long after that he fell asleep so alhamdulillah is asleep and we'll probably put him into his ikhram clothing on the plane and um, inshallah you will get to see how he looks and how he will behave inshallah um, to keep us in your du'as, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept this from us and all those who are planning on going on Umrah and Hajj, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make easy for you and your family and make everything a success from this life and the next life and me. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbi ajma'i. Oh Allah grant all these seas, Jannah to Firdaus, Amin. Ya Allah place a special note in the Kaburs of our fathers and our sheikhs and all those who are in need of a special du'a, may Allah raise his stations and grant them goodness in the cover and turn it into gardens of paradise, Amin. Oh Allah. So this is us leaving home and outside waiting for Uber driver to pick us up and I'm holding the avenue sleeping. This is us in the car. Alright, 
شريك لك لبيك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك
Picking up the phone or anything, so alhamdulillah, we arrived here midnight after midnight, and then um, we went to the initial hotel that I booked online. The booking didn't go through completely, and then um, we tried to complete it last night, but then my husband made a mistake and only booked for. Friday night, which is tonight, and then check in would be at 5 p.m. And then we were like, okay, well, we're gonna put our bags right now because, and also, we're gonna need space to sleep after we perform our umrah. And um, then he said, okay, wait, Joey's he's gonna go check. And all the rooms were fully booked. Um, well, bearing in mind that these are the hotels that are right by the Haram, so it's very close to the Kaaba, so it generally is popular and gets booked out very quickly. And then, anyway, he ended up getting a suite because all the rooms were like fully booked, and um, obviously, you know, a suite is like bigger space and more um, expensive, but alhamdulillah. Um, we had a good budget when we came and we didn't come with a group it was only the three of us so it was easy to like make adjustments and just go with the flow alhamdulillah so um we got a suite at the um let me double check it's the rehan hotel um and it's very beautiful actually um and then we came here, we checked in, put our bags down, Zain Abdin was sleeping and then um, my husband was like, okay, let's get down, let's undress him and put him in his mihram clothes and I was so tired. My feet was already aching but I haven't even performed the Umrah yet. And Alhamdulillah, I told him, okay, can you give me a few minutes? And I think like 10 minutes, I tried to take a nap with Zen Abedin. And then after 10 minutes, my husband was like sitting and waiting and he's ready in his ikram. And he's like, honey, can we go now? And eventually, I got up and I said to him, okay, we can go. I just need time to change because I had noticed that the Jilbab is beautiful and everything. But it constantly came off my head. 
so I wasn't sure if it's because of my hair being fresh number one or number two if it was because I was carrying Zayn Abedin and maybe him on my shoulder was making the yoga like cool down um, and anyway I was just like I don't feel like having this hassle while performing the Umrah um, having to cover up my hair every time because the jilbab is just pulling down and then um, I decided okay um, the next best thing was all black um, well initially I had black and gold and my husband was like um, aren't you supposed to wear all black and I was just like no I don't think so and he's like please and then I was like okay and then I took the gold scarf off and I put the black scarf and he seemed happy and everyone was happy and we left. When we left, it was like a few minutes before Fajr. So Alhamdulillah, we got to perform uh, Fajr before we started our Umrah Tawaf. And um, it was so beautiful. My um, experience while walking down to the Kaaba and before I even reached the Kaaba I started crying and sobbing and I just couldn't stop. Um, eventually I was I had to calm myself down because I was carrying Zimbabwe and he was sleeping. And alhamdulillah like so many thoughts were racing through my head like and I think the main thing was yeah Allah, if I should die um, be pleased with me yeah. um, and I always try to make the dua for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take me um, from this dunya in a beautiful state a state of wudu, a state of sujood you know, in a state of um, reciting the Holy Quran um, so um, we got to the Kaaba I think the one thing that was very scary for me is the pushing, um, especially because we had Zayma Avinin and um, I didn't expect it to be like that rough, but there's, I don't know, I can't say thousands or millions of people because I don't know exactly how many, but it's just so many people and everyone wants to go and touch the car. So Alhamdulillah, we um, made it, I think, on our seventh time when we came around the Kaaba, we went to touch the Kaaba, and it was too busy to go and touch the black stone. People were like really pulling and pushing, and I said to my husband, look, let's just try and touch the Kaaba anyway, you know, not specifically the door or the black stone which is let's try and touch the Kaaba. Eventually Alhamdulillah we got to touch the Kaaba, Zayu Amdin got to touch the Kaaba, my husband got to touch the Kaaba, we made dua and, um, and then we came out and we proceeded um, on to Safwa and Marwa and that for me was um, another experience because the the floor over there is a bit more rough and so I took a rest like probably after our fourth time um, and then I told him okay let's go um, I love the songs of water everywhere and alhamdulillah, um, I love that, you know, there were so many children as well, so it wasn't like I'm the only one, you know, carrying my baby and things like that. Um, Zainu Abidin, he normally loves like running and things like that, but I felt like even he felt there was too much people for him so he didn't want to walk or run at all and um, uh, 
so that obviously like delayed us finishing our journey um, as quick as possible but alhamdulillah um, everything happens in the plan and the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and um, eventually we left there and then we were looking for our doll and um, before we left Safwa and Marwa um, we randomly our scissor got taken at the airport at um, Tamam airport they confiscated the scissor from our bag and then we said okay fine we'll try and buy a scissor when we get here because in order to complete the umrah you need to cut a piece of your hair the male can either shave the head off or they can just cut a piece of the hair as well and, um, and then I said to my husband look on the exit points here at Safwa and Marwa there's always females and males stopping to cut the hair let's just try and see if one of them will assist you know each one of us and alhamdulillah it was so easy i just stopped before i could even ask the sister was already like do you want to cut and i was like yes please alhamdulillah. so um i just took like a piece at the back and i i think she cut like this much off a small piece of my hair and alhamdulillah that was my own completed um and then my husband also got a piece of easy and he went this afternoon now um, to go and shave his hair. Alhamdulillah. Um, so um, that is our experience thus far. We will probably leave here um, maybe by three, go try and do some shopping in the market and then probably first make us and then go do some shopping check in at the female clock tower hotel and then um, proceed to perform maghrib and um, spend some time in the haram and then I'll make go back and explore and then tomorrow afternoon we will check out and go back home inshallah it's very beautiful um, it can be a lot I think because of all the different energies and so many people and everybody wants to um, be by the Kaaba and see the Kaaba and touch the Kaaba there's always people making videos and vlogs and um, live calls um, calling their family they are busy performing um, Tawaf and it's really beautiful to see the diversity of mankind and to remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala looks at our heart and not our outer appearance and what we have because you know in that state we are all the same and um, for me that was like deep and especially looking at the elderly people because um, this journey is very uh, strenuous on your physical body um, and like for me um, it's a bit of a challenge for those who are older so if you are young and you are able to perform your umrah, I suggest you try and do it while you are young, child And um, things that are helpful for me with having a son is obviously having a snack bag with us, having an extra set of clothing in the bag with us. Um, you know, just carrying him I suppose and for me I just felt like he just wanted to be my mom and if I gave him to his dad or I tried to he would cry and scream and so for me I feel like people don't want to hear that here like let me just carry him and enjoy the pain um, but the 
the sake of others having peace and William not crying because I mean no mother wants to see her little one crying and, and kicking and screaming so I'm happy that inshallah we will have a better day um, with him today inshallah because that um, was also from sunrise um, sun, from sunrise yeah Inshallah, Saint Parker, thank you so much for, for for taking this journey with us and for pushing me to just be a better person and a better mom and a friend to you. And Alhamdulillah, for your protection on us. And um, now, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless all who are wanting to perform the Umrah and the Hajj and they are like accepted from all those who are performing and who have performed the Umrah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to return I read yesterday um, it is a sunnah of uh, Muhammad to perform multiple Umrahs and from one Umrah to the next Umrah all the duas that I made for all those who have asked us to make dua and for the entire Ummah of Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that's all Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala's creation no matter what religion no matter what race no matter what background you come from we made dua for you and you are special you are loved by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and know that you are worthy Alhamdulillah so um, I think that's it for me right now. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will, inshallah, continue this vlog later. Perhaps uh, for now, assalamu Yeah, how much I got for the house? 2.5 million rand. Do you know what we can do with that money? But you know why they had to sell? They were forced to. They couldn't afford the rates. They push up the tariffs like Bukat residents can't afford to stay in Bukat in the street. What they know was that my up blue. You can the blue sum of my I want to tell you. Why you should not sell this property? Because there is so much history, there is so much Islam in this Bukab area that you may not be aware of. Yeah, we're going that way, I think, to the Matel. Come
لك والملك لا شريك ربنا يا ربنا ربنا يا ربنا Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone. So um, today is day three and we are leaving. We just come back from Tawafu to say goodbye to the Kaaba. And uh, we stopped to buy some gifts. My husband is waiting for the things because I really wanted to leave. 
Um, but he seems to be fine now, alhamdulillah. And um, I went in the jilba today and it was actually fine. But the difference is I put an undercap on underneath. So there wasn't any slipping, alhamdulillah. So we're on our way back to the hotel room. We'll shower, freshen up, get dressed, and then we'll be off to um, to the airport in China, and then on our way home. Assalamu alaikum. Like sip from us and all other eyes that we made for every single one that asked us, and our family and friends, and all our followers and subscribers. And I bless each and every one now with the opportunity to. Come to the Holy Land, Amen. And then, yeah, so we're on our way to the room. And then, we will shower. Hey? Come.